Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I have something really exciting to share with you. Um, It is elemental science, biology for the logic stage. Um, I do need to preface this video by saying that uh, the creator of the curriculum page, Hudson, was so kind, and she actually sent it to me for free for my review. So I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. Um, We will be using this next year with my fifth grader. So the logic stage is meant for grades five through eight, and they do have a stage, the grammar stage for grades um, one through four, and then they have some for high school as well. Um, So I want to go ahead and first look at the teacher guide. And there's literally everything in here that you need um, to know about the program and everything that you need to prepare and do to complete the program. So it's really great. It's packed full of information for the teacher. Um, So here is basically the table of contents. Um, Up here you'll see that it talks about the book list and all the stuff that you need. And then down here it gets into the units. The first unit is just biological building blocks talking about um, cells, DNA, classification, that kind of thing. Unit two goes into plants. Unit three goes into invertebrates. Then unit four, we have vertebrates, unit five is animal overview, and unit six is the human body. So the way this works is that you use living books and encyclopedias for the information that you're going to get. So there is um, a book list in here somewhere, right here. It tells all the books that you need to complete the program. Um, There's the Usborne Science Encyclopedia, the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia, and then these books here are optional to use with the program. Um, I am actually waiting for the books in the mail, so I don't have those to show today, but I did just want to give you guys a peek into this because um, I was looking on YouTube when I was looking into this, and there wasn't very many reviews or videos about it, so I thought that I could give you guys an idea of what this program entails. Um, Now, don't mind the writing on some of the pages. I was planning out, like, um, stuff that we're going to watch along with each thing from, like, Netflix and stuff. Another really awesome thing about this is that um, it lists out the, the materials that you need by week. So every week there is an experiment, which some people... Some parents don't really want that in a program, but these experiments are great. And with a child that's in fifth grade, they can pretty much take the lead with them. Um, But here's some of the materials that you would need. And obviously you can just pick these up at the store or you can go to the website Home Science Tools. And that's where I'm going to get a lot of these because for one of the units, you actually need a frog dissection kit and a frog to dissect. So Home Science Tools has that for a really good price. So I'm going to purchase that from there when it gets closer to the time. But I wanted to go ahead and show you um, the first unit here. It has all your vocab words. And then it goes in and tells you everything you need to do. So everything for the experiment, the vocabulary and memory work. Um, There's also sketching throughout. So this could kind of double as like an art art thing as well um but they will be doing like sketching and um coloring in like for this one it's plant and animal cells and then there is a writing there's writing involved in this as well and then um there is a timeline so they document kind of like when the scientist um you know first discovered certain things and things like that so i think it's really cool we're going to have this big timeline at the end to show us pretty much everything that we've learned this year or next year. And then another really cool thing about this program is you can either do a two day schedule or there's a five day schedule. I'm actually going to do a three day schedule um, because we want to do science three days a week. So I've broken it up to where we will do this on day one, which consists of our reading and discussion and um, that kind of thing. And then on day two, we will do the experiment. And then on Day three, um, he'll do the vocabulary and things like that. So 
very, very helpful. And then there's also additional information. There's additional books you can read. There's additional discussion questions. There's um, multiple other experiments that you can do. Um, there's a want more section where there's microscope work for this. Um, there's the option to make a jello cell. I think it's just really awesome. And I think that my son is really going to love it. Um, I just think this is right up his alley. He really likes the experiments. So the fact that there's going to be one for every week will be really good. Now I want to go ahead and go into the student guide and give you guys kind of an idea of what is in here. I'm going to go ahead and flip through and get to the actual assignments. But here for unit one is where they'll do the vocabulary. And I love that this is in here so I don't have to have like a separate notebook or anything. He can just take a student workbook and copy down his vocab words. Here is the student assignment sheet just like in the teacher guide. Here is the sketch assignment. So he'll basically just be um, like coloring that in or he can sketch it down on a separate sheet of paper or something if he wants to. Okay, and then in here you have the written assignment. So each week they're going to have um, the option to do a written assignment, which I think is awesome. I don't know if we'll do it every week because like his language arts and stuff obviously has writing assignments and stuff like that. So I don't want to overwhelm him with too much writing, but um, I do think it's really cool that this is here and it's that this curriculum, maybe if your language arts doesn't have a lot of writing or something like that, this could supplement that a lot. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I think this curriculum is really awesome. Last year we really, really struggled with science and um, I'm just, I'm really hoping that this is the right fit for us and I really think that it will be. Um, but I will definitely update you guys on that um, as the year goes on. Obviously we're not starting school until sometime in July or August. So it might be a while before you hear anything else about this, but, um, I might try to do some other videos, um, showing you guys like the books that, uh, we're getting to go with it and all that kind of stuff too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about this cur curriculum, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them for you and have an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching.